Good evening, Facebook Live. Good evening, good evening, good evening. I'm going to do this last thing, and I'm going to sleep. I started my day off a little too early, and I'm going to just take my hat off even. So you guys get to see the new haircut that's been already put in hat mode. So I don't really care about my hair as much as some people would think I should, but I don't. Yeah. Can you? Can I do it right after this live? I'm on. I'm in. I'll. I'll I'll do it. Send me a message. I'll do it real fast. Um, sorry, my wife asked me to do a favor. So I got to do two favors as soon as this is over. So if you're on here now, go ahead and click share. Go ahead and like. Go ahead and comment. Tell me if you're in here for the first time. Tell me if you're a guest. Tell me if you're, you're seeing me for the very first time ever. Put a one if you're a fan. If you can't stand my Facebook lives, you can't stand anything I'm doing, put a two, uh, heck, I don't know, I mean, just make up some numbers if you want, I mean, tell me your favorite number, uh, your favorite color, um, you know, whatever, fill up this comment, what I'm going to talk about today is, why is it that every time there's a struggle, there is gains, right, so um, I use powerlifting as an analogy a lot because I grew up in a household filled with power lifters. My father was a power lifter, my brother's a power lifter, and I understood the, the value of struggle for the gain. Like you don't go work out without working out to failure. You don't go work out without pushing yourself to that farthest limit so that you can take it one more step. You know, we've been in this journey with proximity marketing for nine months, not just nine months. Like we ain't even brushed the surface surface. And I just showed a stat that said that the proximity marketing devices are going to be in the billions in a very, very short amount of time. So when I look at the struggles that we've come through so far, that's an encouragement to me. Those are the things that make me um, beyond excited about where we're going. Because if there was no struggle and it was just too easy, I would be a little concerned. Like I'd be concerned that you know we we were headed in a wrong direction. You sh if you want to make gains, you should always have a little bit of a struggle. You should have a little bit of a just those walls that you're hitting every so often to to get you to the next level. I mean, if if it was easy to go out and just if everybody was just telling you yes on every single call and every single thing, it, that'd be that'd be a little odd. But this was an inherent yes to get started, and then I watched as hundreds, maybe even thousands was like, uh, no, this ain't going to work. This ain't going to be this thing. But for those who stuck, the ones who stuck and stayed, the ones who are growing, the future is truly remarkable. We haven't even brushed the surface. You know, I was telling somebody the other day, I was like, you know, I, I was brought up in network marketing where they always kind of prompted you to be here in a year. And I, I came back in a year and I still wasn't any, you know, I was better personally developing, but I wasn't better yet at my business. I'm telling people, be here in five years. Be here before that $45 billion claim that the, the researchers have said that this industry is going to be $45 billion. Like, if we just get a portion of that, I mean... 1% would be pretty awesome. 10% would be insane. And I truly believe that Aservia is currently the, I mean, we are just dominating the industry. There is no, there is no other name in the industry doing what we're doing. There is nobody doing what we're doing at the level that we're doing it at and bringing it to it with different technologies, different advancements, and helping people, promoting people. And what I really loved about the stuff that we've done so far 
is that we get to actually work with people from every type of industry and learn from each other and grow with each other. And I love that. And I love the struggle because it's making us bigger and better, faster and stronger just by keep going. Those people who stick around, you might as well just just take a nap. You're gonna you're gonna get to a point in, a, in about a year or so, and it's just gonna be like, God, thank God I didn't quit. Because those ones who did, I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel I'm not, I'm not happy that they left or anything. But everybody makes those choices. Everybody, you know, it's either for you, or it's not. It's no big deal. I'm not trying to. I'm not sitting here making a video wishing you would have stayed because that's definitely not me. <laughs> if you know me. I don't beg anybody like I don't ask I've never contacted anybody who's quit and said oh well you should probably come back if you know there's things coming that's not me now I have sent an email to a whole bunch of people letting them know that the iOS is about to be released but that wasn't a begging email to come back that was by no means I would I don't care personally I love you I think that everything, there's a time and place for everybody and everything. And it was not my job to convince you to stay. It was my job to show you the information and let you make a decision. And that's the way I truly believe it to happen. No way. I'm in trouble now. I'm in trouble. Joel Kelman, you're on my list, buddy. You're on my list. I see you in here. Putting in there, C-U-R-R-Y. On my list, uh, Isabel is not feeling good, so uh, I'm going to be traveling alone tomorrow, um, going out to see all my friends and uh, business partners and Mr. Uh, Don LaPlume and uh, Miss Laura Harte and Scott Whitney and a bunch of other people, Chase. Uh, we're going to see all kinds of people out there for uh, the, the event on Saturday, but I'm telling you. I love the struggle. I love those moments that make us bigger and better because that's what it's about. It's about becoming better. And you always got to go through that. If you're not struggling in your own personal life right now to get better at something, I watch people who have just got so comfortable at having nothing. They just, they, they want, 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 want. And that's not cool. It's not cool to want. It's not. It's cool to go make stuff happen. It's cool to go grow and build and figure it out. So that's what I like, guys. I'm going to shut this one down early. I have got to go to sleep. I've got to get some rest. And uh, I'll be back here tomorrow and probably make a live on the road. And we will talk to you guys on the next one. Have a good evening.